Ray Turner, a seasoned funeral director, possesses a unique penchant for exploring haunted locales and amassing a collection of purportedly haunted artifacts and curiosities. Among his acquisitions is a venerable haunted painting, steeped in a tale of intrigue and spectral lore which has garnered significant attention. His expertise in the paranormal realm has led to a feature interview with the Liverpool Echo, shedding light on the eerie narrative surrounding this enigmatic artwork. As some of you may know, I collect haunted artifacts from various locations. Also, is that an orb? Anyway, I was recently interviewed by the Liverpool Echo, specifically regarding this haunted painting I recently acquired. It details a scene of Wigan Town Centre from the 1940s and allegedly the artist took his own life after creating this picture. The atmosphere in the house has altered since this was brought in and this morning just proves my theory, this is haunted. Ever since obtaining the haunting painting, Ray Turner has observed a subtle but perceptible shift in the atmosphere of his home. However, in recent days, this subtle unease has escalated into chilling paranormal occurrences. One morning, roused from slumber by mysterious banging noises echoing through his empty abode, Ray resolves to document his investigation. With a sense of trepidation, he ventures forth to confront the source of the disturbance and captured this. You can hear banging coming from downstairs. It won't be up this morning. But there shouldn't be anybody down here. Hello? <gasps> oh my God. Hello? <gasps> Hello? What the fuck? Oh, Will, are you okay? Hello? Oh my God, what's going on? In Ray Turner's recorded footage, a glass falls inexplicably, followed by an object moving on its own. A chilling, muffled voice punctuates the eerie scene. Hello? In a bizarre turn of events, Ray Turner captures a demonic voice speaking backwards amidst the eerie occurrences in his home. Strangely, the unsettling events cease shortly after, leaving an unsettling silence in their wake. However, just days later, while sleeping on the sofa, Ray is abruptly awoken by the return of inexplicable banging noises, reigniting the haunting presence that lingers within his residence. Some bizarre things are going on in here. I fell asleep on the couch this afternoon. I can hear strange banging noises and there's like child's fingerprints on the mirror. See, can you hear it? This is the frame that's previously caused us a bit of trouble. Ray Turner discovers a small handprint on the mirror, seemingly belonging to a child, followed by a sudden bang. Despite his thorough search, he finds no explanation for the disturbance. Returning upstairs, the unsettling noises persist, compelling him to investigate once more. This time, his chilling encounter reveals a presence beyond comprehension, shrouded in the shadows of his haunted home. Oh, do you know, I can almost see my breath. It's gone icy cold in here. Freezing. What the fuck? What the fuck? So not only am I dealing with the candles blowing out on the road and the fucking cornflakes falling off, the cat's going mad now. What's he looking at? You all right, mate? What are you doing? There's nothing there. What the fuck? Don't go out there. Fuck, don't go. Stay here. I'm not following you out there. I don't know what on earth is going on in this house today. As you can see from those clips as well, the cat's acting really strange. He's been doing that for ages now. Looking around the room, darting back and forth like that. Then, as you could hear as well, there was like banging noise in the kitchen and both of them ran out there. When I've gone in after it, there's nothing there. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house. There's been nothing for ages, nothing at all. But just today, there's been an atmosphere as well. It's, something's changed. I'm staying upstairs until my partner gets home because it's terrified me, to be honest. The candles extinguish themselves 
and objects inexplicably topple from the table. Viewers keenly observe a shadowy figure moving near the doorway, while the cats display a curious and uneasy demeanor, seemingly drawn to the mysterious activity. One feline behaves peculiarly, scanning the room as if perceiving an unseen presence. Despite the mounting evidence of paranormal phenomena, it appears that Ray Turner remains undeterred from parting with the haunted painting anytime soon. Matt Benton of Devil's Hour Productions joins forces with fellow paranormal researchers and YouTubers Joe Vitale, Bill Cook and Eric Connor to investigate the former Arnold family farmhouse, now known as the Harrisville Farmhouse. Renowned as the inspiration behind the iconic film The Conjuring. As they set foot inside the ancient structure, it becomes immediately apparent that the atmosphere is suffused with an unsettling aura, sending shivers down their spines. Despite their trepidation, the group delves deeper into the mysteries of the house, uncovering eerie footage captured by former caretaker John Huntington, offering a glimpse into the chilling encounters that await them. I hear you out there. Approximately a minute later in the video, John finds himself in the downstairs main area of the house when an unexplained sound pierces the air, sending a shiver down his spine. I heard some knocking and banging down this. I walked through a minute ago. So I thought I'd just grab my camera. There's a car going by. Hello? Just as John's nerves reach their peak and he believes the situation couldn't possibly become any more unsettling, a series of chilling events unfolds in front of his eyes. I'm just gonna ask who was here with us because this is crazy. Alright, you ready, guys? That's full. Okay, let me delete that one. Okay, recording. Who is here with us? Did I just say, did I just hear what I, what I think I heard? I've been slow, so it sounds funny. <laughs> oh, something's not happy, guys. Something is not happy. Additionally, captured by a stationary camera, an unnerving scene unfolds as one of the doors in the house swings open of its own accord. Now, transitioning to footage captured by Matt Benton and his team of paranormal investigators, 
brace yourself for an unsettling encounter that may induce sleepless nights, particularly for those with a fear of rocking chairs. As the group explores a bedroom in the dead of night, they are met with a chilling sight that sends shivers down their spines. At 10.12 p.m., the Heisen family's DVR system captured the rocking chair move on its own. Before we reviewed the footage, we tried every method we could think of to debunk the chair moving on its own. About an hour later in the video, viewers are treated to camera footage capturing another area of the house, revealing a surprising phenomenon. Even in the afterlife, it appears that spirits enjoy engaging in sports activities. Yeah. <laughs> it's prudent to heed the warnings and avoid delving into the depths of the real-life conjuring house. Its mysteries are best left undisturbed, concealed within the shadows where they belong. The harrowing encounters recounted here are merely a glimpse of the terror's devil's hour. Productions has uncovered within this infamous abode. For those daring enough, Delving further into the video may reveal even more chilling revelations. Shiro embarks on a daring venture, delving into a realm of heightened apprehension. Recently beckoned by Mr. H, the proprietor of a residence steeped in ominous history, Shiro confronts a disquieting narrative. Within the confines of the apartment lies the grim echo of a perplexing tragedy a tale of two souls silenced by suffocation, their demise shrouded in enigma and eluding the grasp of justice. The resonance of this macabre event reverberates across media platforms, ensnaring the attention of the public. Undeterred by the foreboding aura, Shiro commits to an overnight stay under Mr. H's roof. While the initial vigil remains uneventful, the ensuing night unfurls an unsettling turn of events, sending shivers down the spine. During the second night, while in the company of Mr. H, Shiro bears witness to a series of unsettling occurrences. A strange orb materializes, followed by the distressing sight of Mr. H exhibiting signs of suffocation. However, a more subtler yet, chilling observation unfolds as movement is detected near the doorway, an apparition resembling a hand reaching out its repeated attempts invoking a sense of disquiet. As dawn breaks on the third day, Mr. H imparts knowledge of a haunted location nearby, steeped in a history equally grim. Echoing the events surrounding Mr. H's abode, this site tells a tale of tragedy, where a teenager met a violent end near a bridge. Despite the passage of time, the perpetrator eludes justice leaving unresolved questions lingering in the shadows.
スピットボックスだけやってみていいですかあ大丈夫ですよ誰かいらっしゃいますかねここにここで亡くなった方とかおられますかもしいらっしゃいましたら一言何かこの電波にお男今男でしたよねなんで男なんだろうここでもし殺害された女性の方とかいらっしゃいましたら While attempting to establish contact using a spirit box, Shiro and Mr. H inadvertently overlooked a chilling detail a mysterious silhouette lurking behind a nearby tree. However, upon redirecting their flashlight's beam to the spot, the figure had vanished without a trace. This eerie encounter left an unsettling impression. Prompting Shiro to negotiate with the owner for a solitary vigil the following night. Yet, just before this agreement was to take effect, an unsettling incident occurred, further heightening the tension and foreboding atmosphere surrounding their investigation. ちょっと家の周りとかね映せないけどここマジで家の周り住宅街ですめっちゃ静かなんだよねあれ人撮ってるてかここマジうるさいな人の声に聞こえてマジで待って何あれ人かなんだろうなんかった。こんばんは。え。While Shiro ventures to a nearby grocery store, an unexpected visitor calls upon the apartment in his absence. Upon returning, Shiro glimpses a figure nearby and ascends the stairs, encountering a silent man along the way. Could this individual be the same person who stood at the apartment door? The possibility lingers, casting a shadow of doubt over the situation. As another night descends, Shiro convenes with the owner one final time before settling in for the night. さん、なんですか
In the dead of night, a chilling interruption disrupts Shiro's investigation. An unbidden visitor at the door, their presence confirmed by a figure glimpsed through the window. Yet, upon flinging open the door, the corridor stands empty, leaving Shiro to grapple with the unnerving question of their identity. Was it a spectre from the apartment's dark past, or perhaps the same individual encountered previously? As Shiro's four-day inquiry draws to a close, the mysteries surrounding the apartment remain unresolved. Despite diligent efforts, elusive entities evade capture on camera, leaving behind only lingering questions. Who or what attempted to breach the door's threshold? Who lurked behind the tree at the haunted site by the bridge? And who was the enigmatic figure encountered on the stairs? With no definitive answers in sight, the truth remains shrouded in uncertainty.